how to buy your first rental property. I've been talking about this for months and y'all know that I absolutely love real estate. And so, yes, I am completely excited that you're here with me tonight and I hope you're excited too. This first page will tell you, this is my name. I am the broker for Whitney Buys Houses. You wanna know how to start your rental portfolio because it's completely overwhelming and you just don't know what to do. You don't know how to get started and that's what I'm here for. I want you to be a success. I want you to be a freaking rock star. I want you to retire early. I want you to make the residual income that you deserve. I want you to live your life on your own terms and not have to answer to anybody else. We are talking about seven ways to buy your first rental property. Y'all, I'm about to overload you, like completely overload you on actual skills and strategies that I use, that I have used, and that I teach my students, okay? So sharpen your pencils. All right, this is my first deal. Let's get into the real estate now. It's nothing special. It's on Prosser Road here in Knoxville. It is nothing special. And if you drove by that, you wouldn't even turn your head to notice it, would you? Of course not, there's nothing there. There's nothing to look at. Except this driveway. A lot of people, when they start thinking about their rental properties, they forget that they can just buy land. And I tell all my students, I tell every podcast, every radio, every TV interview I do, that if you're afraid of somebody punching a hole in your sheetrock, buy land. They're not going to punch a hole in the tree. They're not going to punch the grass. It's not going to bother you if they do. And this driveway right here, this driveway is amazing. I wish I had a little pencil, but okay. So this driveway, regular driveway, the right side of this driveway, all the way back to where these trucks are, I own that. Yes, I have a half acre piece of industrial land over here. See, there's a pile of gravel on it that hasn't even been spread. It's just trees and grass. But with my ownership of the right side of this driveway, I called my neighbor over here who is a Fortune 500 company and I said, hey neighbor, you're driving on my land and I need some rent for it. If you're gonna use my land to get to your trucks, to get to the back of your shop, I need some money, honey. So I love this driveway. And I'm gonna show you that with this driveway, you don't need any large chunks of change. You don't need a bank. You can use cold, hard cash to buy a driveway like this. Because I'm gonna break it down. I bought this at an auction. It was an online only auction. The bidding ended at midnight and my final max bid was 1200 bucks. I had to pay 10% buyer's premium to the auctioneer, 120 bucks. Taxes, closing costs, other stuff that they throw on top of it. My HUD statement, my final statement at the closing table was fifteen hundred eighty-six dollars and thirty-six cents. Fifteen hundred bucks, sixteen hundred bucks, whatever. Then I turned around, and after my neighbor agreed that I was right, they offered me two hundred fifty dollars a month just to be able to drive on my driveway to access their property. That's pretty cool. I have cash flow forever. Okay, forever. And yes, $250 a month per, wait, for life. It may not change your life, but think about what an extra $250 a month could do that you don't have to go to work for, you don't have to clock in for, you don't have to ask somebody for an allowance. You just get $250. You can get manicures and pedicures, you can get a new coach bag. You're not going to get a Louis Vuitton bag unless you save up a couple months, but you could get a new coach bag every month. It could pay for the utilities at your house. It could go towards your principal pay down on your mortgage so that every year, instead of owing 30 years and then 29 years, suddenly you're at 30 years and then 24 years because you took a big chunk off the principal. You could go on a weekend trip. I mean, 250 could easily cover a hotel night for Friday night and Saturday night. You have a little escape with your significant other. You could party. You could throw a party. You could have a Super Bowl party. You could do whatever you free, feed your friends and family over Thanksgiving for free. Or you could just have walking around pocket change. 
But what I want you to do with that is save that cash and buy another piece of land so that you can rent it for $500 a month. You save that and then you buy another piece. You rent the third piece for $1,000 a month. Now you're bringing in $1,750 a month after, what, 18 months or two years? Now we're talking about bringing in some real money every month, aren't we? Yes, we are.